Amazon benefits from fake shipping scam hurts sellers and competition. Hi, I'm Robert Tangway and this is the Amazon fake shipping scam. I'm an Amazon seller and in 2017 I detected hundreds of instances of fraudulent sellers shipping empty packages to fake addresses. I brought it to the attention of Amazon and they did nothing. I even sued them and with all the evidence I'm going to show you, the courts did nothing. I am not a lawyer and this is not legal advice. However, I'm going to show you how Amazon benefits from the fake shipping scam at the expense of their sellers and competition. Then I'm going to ask you to help me rectify the situation. We've all shopped on Amazon before, but many of you may not know what it's like to be a seller on Amazon. If you are a seller on Amazon, you want to pay particular attention to this video. There are two types of delivery for products sold on Amazon. Seller fulfilled, or third party sellers, and Amazon FBA. Third party seller fulfilled means that the seller ships the item to the customer directly. FBA means that the seller ships the product to Amazon and then it is fulfilled by Amazon upon purchase. Amazon warehouses and ships the product for their sellers. They charge the sellers a commission on several different tiers and then an extra fee for the FBA service which includes the shipping and handling of it. Storage fees are also charged by Amazon to the sellers each month. If they are pro sellers they are also charged an additional $40 a month and then they don't have to pay $1 per item that they do sell. I sold products I have acquired using Amazon's listings and priced them competitively based upon market prices listed offered on Amazon. By checking the market prices, I noticed many products that I was selling had new offers that were priced much lower than every other seller that was offering them. That was how I detected the Amazon fake shipping fraud. Here's how it works. A fraudulent seller puts up listings for popular products on accounts that they have seeded with a few fake transactions to give themselves positive feedback. They price these products low enough to get themselves to the top of the listing and discount far enough so that other sellers can't compete with that price point without losing money. They then put the quantity up to say 10 or 20 units and since Amazon lets you use the stock listings with pictures and almost every item is already listed, the fraudster never has to have physical control. All the fraudulent products sell out quickly, usually within a week as they are now the lowest price on Amazon and the internet in general. This garners massive search traffic for Amazon, bringing in customers that might otherwise shop on other online shopping sites or make retail store purchases. These visitors might also buy products from legitimate Amazon sellers or Amazon Basics, their home brand. Lots of money gets paid to Amazon. Business is all about touching money first and reducing liability, which Amazon seems to do very well with this current system. Upon a purchase, the fraudulent seller gets a notification of an order and then makes a shipment with a tracking number and sends it out. Now when I say makes a shipment, it is because the item ordered is not actually in that shipment for fraudulent sales and the package is not actually shipped to the customer. As stated above, when an item ships, Amazon charges the customer's card and holds the funds. They release them to all sellers, both good and bad, after taking their fees and a few days after the shipment has been sent out, or at least marked sent out. Amazon can tell when the shipment has arrived by using tracking entered automatically. Sellers can use Amazon's discounted printing labels to ship products and have the cost deducted from their accounts. They can also link up to various shipment providers like UPS and FedEx and get the tracking numbers direct from them and then correlate that against the tracking number provided by the seller if that seller did not purchase shipping from Amazon. They also charge a commission off of the money collected for shipping and handling, which they make money off of as well. The fraudulent items are sent slow ship with wide delivery dates of 15 to 20 business days, which cost less than four bucks to ship. The unsuspecting customer doesn't notice that they're accepting slow shipping as a trade-off for a great deal. That month-long shipping schedule tends to make a consumer not know when to expect their item. Even with different delivery notifications, it is still confusing with all the split shipments. I usually throw them in the trash, keeping only the order receipts. 
you know you do too, and you probably have less time to organize your email than I do. All the returns. So, we're going to stop Amazon. this video here because it's getting to be quite long and it takes a while to edit this. I also feel like I've shown enough examples of people who have been misled and complained about the Amazon fake shipping scam. In future videos, we're going to discuss who benefits from the fake shipping scam, specifically how Amazon benefits from the fake shipping scam. And in order to do that and spend the time that is necessary, I need you to subscribe. You can also check out my other videos and share them. If you have any questions, anything unclear, please, please, please leave it in the comments below. Robert Tangway again. Hashtag Scamazon.